the Avengers team is looking for a new superhero, and I think I might have just found the perfect candidate. His name is Tardigrade, though friends like to call him Waterbear. He hates that, by the way. It, he's a tiny invertebrate, less than half a millimeter in length, widely known for being the, or one of the most resilient creatures on planet Earth. And that's for good reason, right? Because the tardigrade can survive to up to 10 years of complete dehydration, extreme temperatures from minus 250 to plus 150 degrees Celsius, pressures of up to 300 atmospheres, X-rays, gamma rays, even the cold void of space. Essentially, conditions that would normally kill almost any other creature on the planet are like a minor inconvenience for the tardigrade, like, you know, a runny nose in the morning or what have you. And, of course, this is in great part thanks to some defense mechanisms which are unique to the animal world. For instance, cryptobiosis is the process by which the tardigrade shuts down his metabolism as the cells lose almost all of their water contents. Now, normally, this would be disastrous for any other creature, but the tardigrade does have some aces up his sleeve. I don't, but he does. For instance, a sort of bioglass forms an outer suit of armor that protects his cells from the outside, while on the inside he builds some special proteins that act as a scaffolding to maintain their structural integrity. And when you put the two together, that forms an almost impenetrable defense against any outside threat. But even if something does get through and harm our tardigrade, it has not one, not two, but four genes specifically dedicated to the repair of DNA, whilst most other animals, ourselves included, only have one of them. This is all great and interesting, but how exactly can humans profit off of this? Well, in quite a few ways, actually. For instance, a study in 2016 by a team of researchers from Japan modified human cultured cells by inserting DNA from the tardigrade and found out that by modifying just one gene, they've increased the resistance to X-ray radiation by up to 40%. Now, should we ever try to colonize distant worlds or travel through space, resistance to cosmic radiation may very well be what makes the difference. Or if you consider aging, perhaps, we already know that this is a process largely caused by the degradation of DNA over time inside our cells. Now, in theory, should we be able to incorporate some of the tardigrade's mechanisms for DNA repair and add that to our own cells, we might very well be able to vastly slow down or even completely halt the process of aging altogether. Now, of course, I'm not here to tell you that this is definitely happening, definitely not tomorrow, but what I can tell you is that if we're ever going to be forever young, colonizing distant galaxies, it's most likely going to have at least some part to do with our tiny invertebrate superhero. Thank you very much.